Right, so today we're going to go over building a simple circuit, measuring resistance, measuring voltage, and measuring current. So to start off in your lab, you're going to measure the resistance of your resistors. In order to do that, first take your resistor, the blue tape resistors are approximately 110 ohms. You're going to measure the, the precise amount. In order to do that, we're going to take two cables. One cable goes in the bottom right hole, that's where the measurements uh, cable goes. The other one goes in the common, this is your ground connection. Plug the cables in there. On the other side, we're going to insert alligator clips. As you saw in the activity, you have to make a good connection to the alligator clip. Push it onto the clip. You may have to push on the metal to get good solid connection. Do that each with the red and the black. The color of the cables don't matter. Conventionally, we have red for the uh, high voltage side, black for the low voltage, but that's just so you can keep track of it. It does not matter. Once you have the alligator clips in, you can squeeze on the spring-loaded clip. They open like the jaws in an alligator, hence the name. Connect to your resistor. Connect one to one side of the resistor on the wire. Connect the other to the other side. Then you will set your uh, multimeter to measure resistance. Put it on the on the ohm setting, a little horseshoe. Here we can see we are measuring about 108.6 ohms. Let me just show you real quickly, just for a quick review. If we do the other resistor, I'm now going to do the 220 ohm resistor. That takes a moment to settle. Notice this is saying 0.218. This I is set it kilo down. Okay, this is reading 0.218 kilohms. That's 218 ohms. Take the 0.218, multiply by a thousand. This is an auto ranging multimeter, so you have to pay attention to all the suffixes. They appear up in the top of the display. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a simple circuit. So I'm going to disconnect the wires from the meter, and we're going to go to the circuit itself. First one we're going to build is a series circuit. We will have the two resistors in, in series with each other and with the battery in the circuit. The battery we start, the copper top is where the high voltage is. I'm going to connect to the high voltage. I'm going to put an alligator clip on the high voltage. I'm then going to connect a resistor. I'm going to connect the 110 ohm resistor. I will put another alligator clip on here. I'm then going to take one of my short wires, put alligator clips on both ends. Again, make sure the metal is making good connection onto the banana plug. I'm going to connect to the wire here. I'm going to connect the 220 ohm resistor. Then we'll have one more wire going to the battery. Connection here. Final connection goes to the battery. And now I have built a series circuit. I highly recommend when you do this in lab, make the circuit look like the schematic. Here we can see the full loop. We're coming from the battery, through one resistor, through the other resistor, back to the battery. Notice there's one path for the current to flow. That's characteristic of a series circuit. All the resistors are connected in a chain. Next thing we're going to do now is measure all the voltages for this circuit. I'm going to have two more cables I'll put into the meter. As before, I will plug in the red cable into the measurement port, black cable into the common port. And now I can measure all the voltages. I'm going to set this to measure DC voltage, put it on the red setting here. Right now we're reading nothing because I'm not plugged in. I can check all the voltages in my circuit now. I can start off, I can measure the battery voltage. Now here's a trick with the banana plugs. You can take the probes, plug into the back of the plugs. To find the battery voltage, I plug in here and here across the battery. I can see my full battery voltage. 1.5, 1 volts, terrific, great. Now keep the circuit intact to measure voltage. To measure voltage, we measure across elements. This was across the whole battery. Keeping the circuit intact, I'm going to pull the connectors. 
Now I'm going to measure the voltage across this resistor. I'm going to measure across the 110 ohm resistor. Is the voltage going to be less? Think about that. Is it going to be less than the full battery voltage? So remember the voltage builds up across the battery, drops across one resistor, drops across the other resistor. As we go through the full loop, we come back to zero. We gain voltage, then we drop and drop. So let's measure the voltage across the 110. Again, I can come into the back of these probes here. I do not need another set of alligator clips. I plug in here and here. We observe the voltage, 0.499 volts. Notice that's less than the full battery voltage. To measure the other resistor, again, keep the circuit intact. We're gonna measure across the 220 ohm resistor. Plug in here and here and we see 1.01 volts. The two voltage drops together across the resistor should add up to your battery voltage. That's what we're seeing here. The larger resistor has a larger voltage drop. Terrific. Great. Okay, so we have measured voltage across the battery and across each resistor. Next thing we want to do is measure the current through this circuit. Notice there's one path, one loop. What do we know about the current in a series circuit? I can give away an answer for you right now. That means we have one current that we're going to measure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my probes. Now, if we want to measure the current, we have to get into the river. We have to see where the current is flowing. The current is flowing through the wires. We need to measure the current coming through the wires. In order to do that, we have to break the circuit. I'm going to open up the circuit here. And now I'm going to have current flowing through from, from the wire through the meter out to the other side. So I'm going to add one more, I'm going to add one cable and take a cable going into the measurement port, connect to the positive terminal of the battery. My current is now going to come through the meter in order to complete the circuit. I have to have it come through the meter. I plug in here. I'm still set on voltage. Notice we're seeing the full voltage, so that's not very interesting at this point. I want to measure the current. I'm going to come around to turn it on to DC milliamps. Now we can see the current flow, 4.59. Notice the suffix on top, milliamps. This is 4.59 thousandths of an amp. That is the current flow through the series circuit. You can check the, uh, the current at different places in the circuit, and you should observe with a series circuit, you're getting the same current at all the different places where you do the measurement. Okay, good, so that's series. Mm -hmm. so if by chance you have made, made a mistake and you, you're trying to measure, say, the current coming out of the battery, do not do this. Please, please, please do not do this. I'm gonna break the rules. If you try to measure the current right across the battery like this, it's gonna to start to laugh at you. It's saying OL, it's leaving out the first L. It's saying LOL and it's beeping so you can embarrass yourself in front of all your classmates. If things go really wrong, you'll blow a fuse in the meter and make the teacher very mad. So please, please, please do not do that. Remember when you're measuring current, measure current through the circuit. The next thing we're gonna do is build a parallel circuit. So highly advise you take everything apart. Let's get back to the beginning. So I'm going to disconnect. I'll leave the alligator clips on the resistors just to save myself a, a few minutes here. So let's lay out the resistors. In parallel, the two resistors are going to be next to each other. Each of them are going to have the full voltage connected across. They'll have the full battery voltage uh, across them. So let's lay this out then. I have my battery coming in here. I'm going to connect to my first resistor. I'm going to plug in there to the voltage. I'm going to connect into ground through here. So now we have one resistor in the circuit. The second resistor is going to have the full voltage across it. Here's a neat little trick. Let's connect. In fact, let's, let's, keep, let's keep the same color of wires. Where we have high voltage, I'm going to keep red wires in here. I'm going to have high voltage connected in here, and I'm going to connect to the second resistor. So notice now, everywhere we've got red, there's our high voltage connection. I'm going to come back on black, complete our low voltage connection. Now you can see each resistor has the full battery voltage coming across it. They are connected in parallel. 
We now want to come in and measure voltage across this. I can use two, let's use two different colors just to keep track of things. I'll keep black in the common. I'll have my blue measurement here. If I measure voltage, you'll notice anywhere I go to measure voltage, I'm gonna see the full battery voltage across the circuit. I can plug in here. Plug in common. Here we'll see full full battery voltage, 1.49 volts. I can connect to the other. And here I can plug in here. I'll see again. Same voltage, 1.489 volts. I can check the battery, I'll see the same voltage. Notice the same voltage drop everywhere. Same voltage drop coming through this one. So current measurements, in this case, this is gonna get a little bit trickier. You have to be, be very careful in measuring current. So we're going to do three different measurements. You're gonna measure the total current coming out of the battery, then you're gonna measure the current coming through each resistor. So you have to very carefully watch where we are in, in the circuit. Coming out of the battery, I'm going to get rid of the cable as we did before. We need to break the circuit, get into the river. So I want to see the current coming out of the battery. I'm going to break the circuit. I'm going to insert my probe here. So I'll see current flowing through the meter. I'm going to plug in here. I'll see full battery voltage. I want voltage, let's measure current. Here is the full current coming through each resistor. And it's a little unstable right now. Sometimes we have to make sure we get good connection. There we go, yes. If you see things bouncing around, it says you just need to tighten up your connection. So here we're seeing 19.8 milliamps going through both resistors. That's the, the current flowing through the two of them. Now remember with parallel circuits, the currents are going to add. The next thing we're gonna do is measure the current through each individual resistor. So I'm going to restore my circuit the way that it was. We put back this connection, and now things start to get a little bit tricky. We have to be really careful of what we're doing on our next step. I want to measure the current only through this resistor next. In order to do that, I am going to break my circuit here. I'm going to see the current coming in here, then I'm going to see the current only flowing through this resistor. Coming there, we see I have 6.7 milliamps. That's the current just flowing through this one because I have the single wire on this side. That's where I know this is working correctly. I will restore my circuit. And we'll measure the current through the other resistor, through the 110 ohm resistor. This is a smaller resistor. Do we expect more current? I hope so. We got it works. So we're going to restore the circuit. I'm going to rebuild it, find the current flowing through this resistor. I have to add a cable, connect in, plug in, and there we go. There's our total, 13.5 milliamps. We add those two currents together, we get the total current coming out of the battery. That is how you uh, construct series and parallel circuits. That's how we measure current and voltage in the circuits. So you're going to do this in your lab. Good luck.